All right, so uh, the Pet Maker button works very similar to the uh, the other buttons I showed you, which were the blaster and the and the randomizer. Uh, you click the Bet Maker button, and it brings up this big, huge thing here, which is sometimes hard to get all on one screen. So we'll just try our best with what we got here. Actually, it goes it goes further below here. And there's actually some buttons here that let you, uh, for example, you can watch the program running <laughs> live, you know, like, like a step step by step stuff like that. But before I even talk about programs, I got to tell you what, explain what I'm talking about here. So, what do you think the first button would be? Hey, <laughs> the first button we want to press would probably be right here. Start here, hey. Eh? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to program a strategy. Uh, remember the one we had before with that button where we used, uh, we, we made it, um, we made a $25 pass line bet every roll. And then we had another button to make it, uh, a $25 pass line bet, um, uh, only on the come out roll, remember? So let's try to, let's try to get those two strategies going right here, okay? So the first thing you want to do is click start here, right? <laughs> All right, it's got some informational stuff here. And it says, welcome to the Betmaker version, blah, blah, Press the new top wagering step button now. The gaming layout will reappear. Then press any button. It will become the first step in your first stack. Steps and stacks. Steps are individual button presses. Stacks are groups of button presses. You can group them together. And you can say, I want to jump to this group or that group. And you can have conditionals. I want to jump to that group if it's a come out roll and stuff like that. And that's how you can program whole strategies in this thing here. But we're going to start out simple with a really simple strategy. So it's, it wants us to press this button here. Let's press it and see what happens. Brings up the gaming layout. And so um, my strategy is to go ahead and make a 25 hour pass come line bet. So we're going to press 25 hour here. And when I press that, comes back to this screen here and it recorded my step here, my first step. And now I had a new another new top wagering step, and that'll be the second step in the first stack. Okay? So you see how this is working? This new new top wagering step. We want to make a uh, bet here. Alright. So that's it. We we made 25 hour bet on the pass line, pass come pass or come line. And now um, we're gonna want to make this um, this is the, something called the current step. The current step is what we're currently on. This is like a pro. We, we want to start this on the first step. So there's a button here called first step. We'll click that. And that, that made the current step the first step. Now we're actually ready to start running this, this, uh, this strategy. We've got a strategy here now. By the way, you see these things, these file names? We can, uh, when, when we get a strategy uh, record, when we get a strategy program the way we want it, we can store and recall it in these file names here. And we, can, we can even start programs up with those strategies like that. So we can make strategy runs comparing various strategies. All right, but uh, to get this actually to run, remember in the in the blaster and, in, and the randomizer, there was always a number of bets to make. In this case, we got a number of strategy runs to make. We could actually uh, make, make it repeat strategy runs if we wanted to, but more typically we, we would only want to run one strategy run when we hit that, it, it, these 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 buttons come up. They should remind you of the uh, the blaster and the randomizer. As far as the the green button means, try it now. Or we can go ahead and uh, hide it and then run it manually like that. Uh, we can do that like that. Hide and now, just like every time we click that, it's going to run our strategy for us. We can run it manually like that. Okay. So if I click this. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna click the 25 button and then the, uh, the, the, the pass come line button every time, okay? Let's try it one time. Let's see if it works. Okay, there it is, 25-hour pass line. I click it again, it'll, it'll go ahead and add to it, C50, 75, like that. All right. Now, um, you can run it manually, but if you're running a strategy... It's typically you want to run it so uh, every time the dice are rolled, you run. You want to run your strategy right after the dice are rolled every time, right? So I call that automatic mode. Right now we're in what's called manual mode. 
Let's try to get an automatic mode to do that. Remember the show the bet. Remember the show buttons. We had show the blaster, show the randomizer. We got another button. Show the bet maker. Okay, it'll bring the bet maker screen back up. We can uh, show our program by hitting this list edit stack button here if we want to show it. But uh, what we really want to do is we really want to pl place it in the automatic mode. So you see this button over here. You click it, and it gives an informational message. It says automatic mode means that. All bets will be made each time the last roll is completed. And also when the bet maker active button is pressed, you know that little green button, uh, press the button again to uh, enable automatic mode. So press it again. It's like uh, like one of those, those two trigger shotguns. You click it once and it, it arms it and click it again and it goes. Okay, so now it's all set. Now this button now says bet maker active. So we're now in a mode where um, we can run it manually like that. Or now every time the dice are rolled, it'll automatically click it by itself, okay? Let's clear all, clear all our bets out so we can get a, a fresh start here. And now we're ready to go ahead and run, a, run an automatic strategy, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start a randomize, randomizer over here, which you're not seeing, but it's running here real fast. And let's see what happens. Okay. Mm, did you miss it? Did you see where it? Yeah, you see where it, where, where it flashed red real quick there. <laughs> Every time it's doing that, it's um. No, it did it actually it hit, it hit a couple of come out rolls, and that's why it, it queued it up to seventy five bucks there every time. But now every time every time it rolls, it will make a twenty-five hour bet every time from now on. Okay, and you know this is, again. This is um, Northern Nevada rule, so it all gets moved up to this come line no matter what. I think we actually hit our ten there. That was kind of nice. we're up money already, so the strategy must be working, eh? <laughs> all right, <laughs> it's working good so far. Up a hundred bucks. <laughs> All right, now let's just say that um, we only want to make this 25-hour bet on the come-out roll only. How are we going to do that? All right. Well, well I've, I've stopped the action. It's not a good idea to try to program the, the bet maker while it's actually running. So you want to actually... Stop the dealer dealing. You can do it, but it's really cumbersome. <laughs> Turn pink every time you want to do anything. So show the bet maker. Let's edit stacks. What we want to do, we want to do what's called a conditional. We only want to make this pass come line bet if it's on the come out roll. How do you do conditionals? Okay, I've got something called um, uh, I got something called dangerous. Some of these buttons can be dangerous. Like you could be working on a program for like a week and you hit, hit a button and it deletes your whole stack or deletes your whole program accidentally. So I call those dangerous buttons. I, I, I hid those away under this thing called arm dangerous buttons. Click this, it'll show the dangerous buttons or kind of pink and red and stuff like that. Uh, step conditions are considered to be dangerous. So here they are. If you click this now, it'll show you uh, your step conditions. Let me get this out of the way here. Um... Click the blue, it'll show you step conditions. And uh, when you when you uh, click these things, like it's like, uh, I don't know if you can even see this, but it says like, <clears throat> for example, it says on come out roll, on point roll, on a two point, whatever. And you can actually, um, well, yeah, what, when you click these, they apply to what's called the current step, okay? So let's go ahead and make the current step the, the bet on the pass line bet, because that's the one we want to apply the condition to, okay? And then let's go ahead and put a condition, we'll say, on come out roll condition. And you can actually make uh, several conditions at the same time. You can, uh, you can uh, or them together if you want to, okay? But this program, we don't have to do it. So we're all done now. Uh, we uh, but remember we we always want to make the um, the first step the current step. Well, you can do it by clicking this, or you can hit it, or you can hit this button over here. Either way, 
Let's go ahead and click it like that. And we'll go ahead and hide this away. And we'll go ahead and uh, disarm the dangerous button so we don't have to see him. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on. All right, about that. Disarm the dangerous button so we don't see him. Okay. And now we're ready to run this program here. So we'll go ahead and put it back in automatic mode. All right. And let's hit it. And I believe what it should do from now on is should only make this bet if it's on if it's on uh, the come out roll. Otherwise, it should not make this bet. See what happens. Okay, it's not on a come out roll, so it's not making the bet. No, oh, we have to wait. Oh, there's a come out roll right there. How oh, handy. Okay, and see, it made the bet. You see our strategy worked. That's called a conditional. Uh, and what you can do, you can really make these uh, complicated if you wanted to. Um, the other thing you can do is. Um, <clears throat> you can add, you can add more steps on top if you wanted to, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, we want to add some more steps on the very top here. We'll make this the current, and we'll add another one on top of that. So we'll say new top wagering step on top of that. Let's go ahead and make a ten dollar bet on the uh, on the big red. And and again, we'll, we'll only want to do this on the come out roll, okay? This one here, okay? Because otherwise, it wouldn't make that much sense to do it. So uh, this is our current step. Well, let's go ahead and bring up step conditions. And we'll make that on come out roll. We'll see, it orders it in there, okay? And that's it. We're all done. Make the first step our current step. And put it back into automatic mode. And we're ready to rock. All right. Now it should, uh, it should make a 24-hour bet on the pass line. Pass come on the pass line. Only on the come out roll. And uh, big red, $10 big red that on the come out roll as well. That's it. See what happens. It might take a while to get in the come out roll. To prove our point. It's a random test here. And a to run. Uh, we can manually do it, remember? We can always just hit this. Oh, there is a come out roll right there, okay? So $10 uh, big red and $25 pass and come out roll. You see that? Okay, good? Good? All right. I want to finish this up with one, just showing you one more strategy, which I actually came up with the other day. It's kind of kind of cool, okay? Give me a second here. Okay, I'm going to say show the bet maker. I want to load a new strategy in, okay? So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and delete what's there, okay? We'll say delete stack. If you had, you can have multiple stacks, by the way. You can jump from stack to stack. I didn't show you that yet. But what I want to actually want to show you, um, oh, hang on a second. Hang on, wait a second. Hang on a second.